EA Sports, in partnership with the United States Golf Association, so proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Today, we bring you coverage of the second round. Well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. We get the round started here at Bandon Dunes with a par four measuring out at a couple of ticks under 400 yards. A safe drive should get you a nice uphill look to this green, but getting on the right tier is a must unless you want to start your day with a 70 foot putt. And this is less than ideal to start the morning. That's gonna settle down into the heavy stuff. It'll take some effort from this buried lot, but a chance now to still reach this green in two. have gone in for the same price. Okay, a well-played hole there. It is Brody to kick off the round. And with it, he'll take over the top spot on the leaderboard here on this Friday. The second hole, a par three measuring 220 yards. In theory, it's a straightforward, the long par three. Two bunkers left and short shouldn't be in play, but the hole does play deceivingly uphill, so a solid strike is a must. Okay, center of the green, good shot. 14 feet to the hole. Nope. Ah, good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. And this will remain a one-shot advantage. We head to the third now, our first par five at 563 yards. Bunkers appear to be scattered on either side of the fairway, so accuracy is a must. This green is definitely reachable in two, but it does run nearly 50 yards from front to back. So if your approach isn't on target, you could be left with a putt of better than 100 feet. Is starting up the right side. Ah, you can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee right down the middle. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. That one had to feel good. Yeah, struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly.
Will that stop? Yes, that was not easy down the slope, but that's pretty well done. No problems there. That one in for a birdie. And he's going to move to seven under par, two under on the day. Next up, we reach the par four fourth, measuring out at 443 yards. The bunker left of the fairway complicates things a bit, and it is easy to run a tee shot right through the fairway. But if you do wind up in the short grass, the approach shot is one of the most panoramic in golf. No issues here. That is into the fairway. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second for this par four. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. Just has to get the ball started and it will work back to the right and toward the hole. Oh, good run going here early. This is birdies at three and four. And that's going to move him to eight under. We turn northward along the beach here at the 445 yard par four fifth. Like the previous hole, the landing area is a narrow one and it doesn't get much easier from there. The green's protected by a big bunker on the right and be careful because those onshore breezes like to push the ball that way. This round's been a clinic so far, and that's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. From well down the fairway, this a bit of a tricky distance for his second. He ran in a long one a moment ago. This as well from downtown for another birdie. Finished off, it's in for par, and the lead's gonna remain two. The second par three of this front side, another long one, this sixth hole measuring out at 217 yards. That voice in your head will be telling you, don't go left, because if you do, you'll be down the cliff and onto the beach here by five mile point.
stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six. And he's worked it to nine under par. We head away from the coast now due east as we come to the par four seven. A big wide fairway should make the tee shot manageable. But from there, this three tiered clover shaped green provides a lot of opportunities for three putts if that approach wedge is not dialed in. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. So from a little more than 70 yards, this is second. Look here at birdie. And all things considered, he's in a pretty good spot. It might move gently to his right as it works back up the slope. Nah, that's gonna wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. Okay, safely in for his par. And he'll maintain that four shot lead. The eighth hole here at Bandon takes us back toward the ocean. It's a par four at 385 yards, so it's not a long one if you can successfully navigate or bomb it over those two fairway bunkers. You could leave yourself with not much more than 50 yards or so for your approach. This is going to be way down there. Well, they claim it's a reachable par four. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. Well done. He's been automatic on this front side. This for birdie. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And he's into double figures now at 10 under par. 
Well, whereas the eighth was a short par four, nothing short about our closing hole here on this front side. The par five ninth topping out at 585 yards, the longest hole on the course. That said, birdie is certainly not out of the equation. That is, if you can avoid the pot bunkers in the landing area off the tee. And just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Absolutely can do no wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular round of golf. The backside begins here with the par four 10th hole at 380 yards. The big hitters will feel like they can get it down there pretty close. An approach from the right side might be a bit shorter, but you'll get a better angle if you come at it from the left. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. Frank, it's obvious he caught a flyer right there. Explain what that means. Well, you have loft, right? The ball's going to take off on the loft. They put grooves on the on the on the golf club so you can have nice contact. If those grooves fill up with a little bit of grass, then you have no grooves, then you have nothing really to put the extra spin on the golf ball. So that is a flyer. Got the speed perfect there from off the green. The line was perfect too, and as a result, it's in for birdie. The 11th here at Bandon Dunes at 452 yards apart for the putt bunker left of the fairway is the main concern on the tee shot. From there, an uphill second takes you to a green that slopes away and back toward the ocean beyond. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. 137 is the number. Pin all the way at the back. He can fly at the full way. That's not too bad. Good shot uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. Not to be a little short, but a, a good effort there.
He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. And they make their par threes long here at Bend and Dunes. This one, the 12th, measures out at 238 yards. This one at least is slightly downhill. Areas of concern include that pot bunker short and left, and then the thicker stuff that comes into play if you knock it over the back. Okay, took that one just past the hole, but kept it on the right side, so a birdie putt forthcoming. Iona's down there, this for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. All right, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Okay, that one finished off for a par. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. The rolling hills of Oregon provide the backdrop to this par 5 13th hole. At 553 yards, it is reachable in two. Big dunes in the fairway could make the stance awkward for that second shot. But a big green that measures better than 50 yards head to toe does yield a good number of eagle putts. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Definitely within range of getting home in two. This is second. Shot that is home in two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. Now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. Just like that, it's a birdie here at 13. And he's just continuing to pour it on here on this Friday. On a course with so many great vistas, this is visually a tough hole, this par 4 14. Look out in the fairway and you'll see pot bunkers to contend with in your landing area. If you can stay left of the danger, you will have a better look into an elongated green. That's on a pretty good line so far. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. that an acceptable effort from that range. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. And he continues to just build up a massive lead for the weekend. Four holes to go as we come to the par 3 15th, measuring at 206 yards. Best to avoid the short right bunker, which is the deepest on the golf course. Putting one in the center of this plateaued green is not a bad play here.
Okay, solid shot. And that'll give him a chance at birdie here at the 15th. Chance now for another birdie. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. This is one of the signature holes here at Bandon Dunes, the par 4 16th. Some golfers play for the upper fairway, which gives you a bit of an angle to the green. Others, they stay down low, which is maybe a little safer. A third option is just to try and carry it over everything. But beware, the pot bunkers and the gorse if you choose option C. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. So a big drive and not much needed to carry here for his second. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. Oh, right on line all the way. It is a par here at 16. And he'll stay at 15 under. Feast or famine here on this par 4 17th at 405 yards. There are no good misses off the tee. Left has pot bunkers and thick gorse. Right with a long bunker and the side of a canyon to contend with. Best to just put one right down the middle, but that's, uh, that's easy for me to say. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. Now this for another birdie. Finishing strong, that's in for birdie here at 17 to 16 under par. 
On to the home hole to wrap up the round here at Bandon Dunes. And after battling to get here, isn't it nice to have a birdie hole to take you to the clubhouse? That's what we have with this 558 yard par five. Simply avoid the bunkers off the tee and you should have a good chance to reach this green in two. This is turning a little to his left. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. That is home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round. Frank, that may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Ah, that's a half a ball away from going in. Very well read. Okay, birdie at the last. It is a birdie birdie finish. And that will just miss being around in the 50s. Two putts here means it's a 60. So will this be the week that our featured golfer claims that first ever title? Frank, it's looking promising through 36 holes. It is, and to just make that final leap to become a winner on the PGA Tour. Well, that's what's in front. It seems simple, but the last bit is the most difficult. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Nabilo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour.